What up and welcome back to Boring Reviews. Huh. Robot here. man over there. <laughs> Gosh. No, this is the robot. Oil can. Oil can. That's Michael Scott. Anyway. Oh <laughs> Do you remember? And he like he won't he won't stop it until someone gives him the imaginary oil squeeze. Thank you. We need to watch that show again. I have not we have not seen it in forever. Oh, I was just thinking about a line yesterday, and you guys don't care because we got the British version, which is the real version, and the American version sucks, but it's awesome. Um, but I was just thinking about a line and I can't think of it right now. So, anyways. And today we are oh, and I'm Jody. And today we're reacting to a new thing for us. It was a request. Yes. And from um Oh, Jones. it's not Han Solo, but it was Han something. I'm so sorry. That's just yeah. how we're gonna leave it. <laughs> I just I have no idea. Yes. I'm sorry. But thank you for your request. <laughs> thank you for the request, Han. We're 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 apologetic. Han Solo. Um Russell Howard is sick of grumpy kids. From room one oh one. Okay, I'm sorry. I am one hundred percent feeling this. I love our children dearly. Oh. Love them. Love them. We could have gone with the students, the kids. Oh, I'm going to students next. Oh. Okay. Love our children. But two of ours are teenagers. And they are living in the world of grumpy emotional. The teenage world. The teenage world. And that we've been warned about our entire lives. Did not believe it. Did it's real, people. I don't care how sweet, how beautiful, how perfect your kids are. Just wait. I'm just saying, I think that it's almost worse. Yeah, they can do stuff for themselves, but man, I don't know. It's not I mean, worse. it's not worse. I, okay, it's not worse. And we're talking about in comparison to, and babies are so cute, but like You're the baby, right. the, the, toddler, the toddler, the terrible the twos, the terrible yeah, threes, yeah, okay, fours, okay, okay. it's not worse. Doing everything with them, being pooped on, I get it. Yes. But. Yeah, but even our daughter woke up, our son and my husband this morning, because she could not find her jacket. Hey, hey, hey. And it, she got like 15, but she had to have the one. Anyway, it's all good. And, you know, sometimes working in middle school, you deal with all the hormones. It's a lot in one place. There's, there's a kid in my class. She's a great kid. But just today we were talking about um, different idioms, and it wasn't wake up on the other side the wrong side of the bed but it was something where wait don't wake up oh let sleeping dogs lie and one of the wrong answers was wake up grumpy in the morning and so i was walking around saying there's a one student in this class i'm pretty sure that wakes up very grumpy if you wake them up and i looked at her and she's like yep <laughs> and i said don't worry me too don't wake me up or if nick is hungry just don't talk to him just give him food and hungry. let him be like do not talk Especially like it's pushed so much to where it's like, I need to get food right now. And if you're in my way, you're going to die. But yes, this is from a show called Room 101, which is a longer show. So we're kind of dipping our water, our feet in the water. Let us know if you want us to react to the fuller episodes and which ones. Start at the beginning, start this season, start this episode. Whatever it is, we're willing to check it out because we're always looking for new stuff to react to. We reacted to Russell Howard a few times. The cancer funeral story. Yes. And yes. the... um something about the Americans news or something like that. And so oh, versus the British news about yes. how we're like, it's the end of the world. And the British are like, it's fine. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's probably very, very accurate. Tuesday. Anyway, if you say. enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and ignore Nick's terrible uh, accent there. It's Tuesday. Attempt at I thought that was British. pretty good myself. I give it a... You would. You would. I give it a 9.5 on the tins on the Nick scale. There's only one person that votes on that scale, though. Yeah. I'm not sure I got 9 out of 5 with one person. 9.5. All right, here we go. All right, what's Russell's choice? Grumpy kids. Yeah. Uh, exactly, right? I was... I was in a restaurant the other day and I heard a child said, Oh, wagon mama again. <laughs> I used to lose my mind when I went to a harvester. Lose my mind. <laughs> Going to school the next day, salad bar, amazing. <laughs> like I had an Italian dish called a lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> I've got everything, they're whining, they've got wheels in their shoes, iPads, 
Sky Plus. If you'd have shown me Sky Plus when I was 10, I'd have thought you were a wizard. <laughs> like that. <laughs> telly. And, like, could have been so much worse to just... Every kid I seem to do, like, I'm talking about 10 year olds, <laughs> just whining, tubby messes. And... <laughs> just, I just... It just does my head in. It could have been worse. It could have grown up in the 80s, where, you know, the telly was awash with offenders, and... <laughs> You know, we, it was, you know. <laughs> and, like, think of the hours we played the recorder. The hours we did that. <laughs> we ever needed it in our... I've never been at a party. <laughs> I don't know what this needs. <laughs> <laughs> Girls in the corner. Do you know Little Donkey? You know I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> we have a picture of you when you were, uh, I think, 12-year-old. Oh, really? Uh, Russell. OK. Oh, there you go. Oh, yes. Oh. You look much different. Honestly. That middle part. Well, I haven't yes. seen that for a oh. long time. I look a bit like Harry Potter's German pen pal. <laughs> 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 I, who would have thought that when I sat for that picture, it would end up on telly and FIFA would just be like, <laughs> no. Yeah, just... Just smile, the... what's the worst that could happen? All right. <laughs> <laughs> just smile. That's awesome. Like, this is going to haunt you for the rest of your oh, life. Oh, man. The glasses I had, very similar glasses like that, the Harry Potter glasses. Um, haircut, I had a similar one to that. But not like at the part in the middle, but like where, like you cut the sides almost like the bowl cut, the and bowl you cut. shave the sides all the way up, and so it kind of flops over. Oh um, for I want to say a few years, my mom cut all of us. There's three of us boys, all of our hair that way, and I understand you're, you're kind of going by the style, but that wasn't really an appropriate or like an accepted style at the time. It was what my mom knew how to cut, but like you think to yourself, like mom, because nobody has the same <laughs> hairstyle. <laughs> currently as they had when they were like at that age and you think mom did you hate me did you not care like did you have just so much going on like i know it sucks but it's the best i can do you're lucky you have food on the table for crying out loud like it makes you wonder like your mom's got a seat that's your school picture that's the best of the best and she's like oh gosh but you know what like why does everyone's i'm sorry why does everyone's school picture suck mine do because mine Mine were the, the shirt. big, big, <laughs> those terrible things. She has one where she's wearing like a 35 year old overweight man's shirt, like party shirt, with My a collar all buttoned up. My dad, okay, I need to explain. <laughs> I need to explain. It's awesome. Mine are horrible, though. I horrible. was not allowed to really pick out my clothes. My dad picked out everything we wore. He chose our clothes, and he would lay out, you are wearing this. Great and choice. You, there's, there was no going back to it. So it was pretty much like full on tears every morning. And he loved this maroon, silky, button up collar shirt. Like basically a men's dress shirt. 35 year old man's shirt. Yes, yes. And he made me wear it for picture day. And I remember being like, like what, sixth grade? Tear no, I was probably, fi probably fifth grade, not much younger. Um, that was one year off. Yeah. At, oh my gosh, it was terrible. And I had to have it all the way buttoned. All the way. All the way. It, and I had to have the sleeves buttoned, and it was just so atrocious. And I was definitely more of an ugly duckling growing up. Oh, stop. I'm dead serious. I was not the cutest kid on the block. You're so hard on yourself. Um, Especially at that so age. So, wait, are you calling yourself a beautiful swan no, now? No, no. I'm, I'm still He's the black so swan. You are a beautiful swan. I'm the, the outcast, the goose. I'm the goose. I'm black the sheep, goose. I think you mean. The black sheep, yeah. I'm the goose. I'm the goose. Anyway, but I just... I'll never forget. And then there was one time he took us to the mall for those glamour shots that were so popular in the 90s. And, oh, it was terrible. My sister and I, we had to take him. And I don't know why. It was just awful. And there we are in those awful feather boas. And we're, no joke, 12 years old. And the hair, they curled it off floofy in 80s. And, oh, it's just so bad. And the worst part, the worst part is my mom has it hanging up in her house. <laughs> We for call it, everyone to see. We call it the see. hallway no one can go down. It's, it is terrible. Oh, my gosh. There Talk has never about... been a picture you've taken that was terrible. Stop it. You are so sweet. But, no, that one was terrible. There's someone with cameras, though. I'm not terrible. sure. <laughs> this is so bad. But, I yes, would... why do parents do that to their kids? They know. hate their... This is, it's like... Oh, no. It's like... I'm not going to forget this attitude. Mortification. Pick your day. Enjoy yourself, sweetie. Got them. They're done. Because every time, like, 
when when we start to you know get past like the awkward stage of puberty and you start dressing yourself and choosing your own clothes mom no i don't want that you have more attitude your high school pictures usually like the senior picture are always way better because we chose out the clothes people oh no mine were worse because i got a terrible haircut in high school that i just pinned back all the time and, and then i went emo so nobody needs to see those you pictures. are too hard on yourself here we go <laughs> When I was at school, the big game for us was a thing called pile-ups, where one kid lay on the floor and 50 <laughs> kids lay on top. <laughs> You'd be on the bottom thinking, shouldn't my rib cage be inside my blazer? <laughs> I feel a bit sorry for kids now, though. I live in quite a sort of a posh bit of London, and I think the kids there just don't get enough sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Completely. You know, they ask, they ask for a cornetto, they get a little box of raisins. It's, it's that, that's not parenting. Well, exactly. <laughs> I remember, like, my, remember Angel Delight now? There's a pudding. Yes. <laughs> you have one bite of that, you know, I'm going on the roof! <laughs> <laughs> my, and my sister, my sister's one of the greatest moments in the Howard family. My, my sister's eating Angel Delight, she goes, Dad, what's Angel Delight made of? And my dad just went, dead angels. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my brother are like, this is the best day ever! <laughs> I mean, I love the radio. <laughs> I've not listened to your show on the radio because it's too early, but I love the radio in the morning. It's a podcast. I mean, even the action's disturbing, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, somebody her. comes up to your table... She's the girl in, um, the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society movie. The book's ten times better, but that's who she is. She does look familiar. Yeah, she's in that movie. She's probably a bunch of stuff. Probably, but that's what I the know her from. The movie based on the book that has an extremely long title. Yeah, the, liter the literary, the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. Speaking of that movie, it has, what's her name, Lily James? Yes. She's in everything. Yes. Like, literally everything. And I've always been a fan of hers. You not so much and all this stuff. I don't mind. But she's in Sunday. everything. It's like the last ten years, she's in it some way, which is quite incredible. She's an amazing agent. And yeah. again, I like her as an actress, but she's in a movie I just watched on Netflix. I'm not sure if you like it, you might. It's a slower movie, but it's really interesting called Dig. Um but anyway, she's in that she shows up like halfway through. Like, of course she's in this movie. She's in every movie. But again, I'm a big fan, so it's okay. I don't mind her as long as she's not in the live action Cinderella, because she was just so No, she was great. I don't know. What is this? She just kept like even the movements doing disturbing. With her hand, her and what's her face with the red hair? Um, she was in that like the princess came to real life movie years ago. I don't know. She did that thing with her hands too, and I was just like, "What are you doing?" But I did like her in the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. I also like the guy in it, the main guy. I can't remember his name oh. now, but the one that she gets was in the end. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, someone is married in that sh that book to start off with. No. Yes, yeah, like in a relationship with somebody. In the book, though, they're not married, and she does not accept his engagement ring in the movie. Okay, she you does. are spoiling everything. I'm so sorry if you wanted to watch that movie or read that book. But this show, I would guessing it's something like, here's a topic, rant about it, talk about it. Oh, I love that. I want to rant about something. <laughs> rant about good. husbands, Nicholas's. Nicholas's. Yes. I think the plural is Nikolai. But anyways, we are excited to hear your feedback on this. Do you want us to check out more of Room 101? Is it something that's like, yeah, it's kind of okay, but you don't really need to react to it. Just check it out if you want. Let us know. Comment below. If we do, we will do a longer version of this show, the entire episode in different parts. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Goodbye.